If you had the best tree house in the world, what would you put in it? The 13 story tree house was written by Andy Griffiths, illustrated by Terry Denton, and published by Macmillan. It is about two boys, Andy and Terry, who live in a massive tree house and write books together. Every day, Andy and Terry have fun in their tree house with its bowling alley, swimming pool, and man eating sharks. One day, their publisher tells them they must finish the book they are writing. But every time they try and start it, something strange happens. The 13 Story Treehouse is a graphic novel, which means the pictures and words work together to tell the story. The book itself is supposed to be the book that Andy and Terry write in the story, and it really looks and feels like it was written by two young boys. This is similar to the adventures of Captain Underpants. The story is action-packed and funny, and sometimes quite unbelievable. Often, the boys will think of something, and it will come true, such as when Terry paints a cat yellow to make it fly, and it really does. I quite enjoyed this book. It is silly and funny and very imaginative. The story often feels like two little boys making it up, and then this happens, and then that happens, and then, and then... Of course, that's exactly what Andy Griffiths and Terry Denton wanted it to feel like, but some people might not like that. It is similar to Captain Underpants, but I think that Andy and Terry are quite different characters, which makes them more interesting than George and Harold. Like Captain Underpants, the 13-story treehouse is about creativity and imagination. It makes you think about what you would put in your own treehouse, which is very fun. It is a fun book, and there are some others in the series. Here are my ratings. Here's a sample. Terry burped again, even louder this time. Well, you certainly sound like you're feeling better, I said. Much better, said Terry. All I need now is some bubblegum. He climbed out of the lemonade fountain, went over to the bubblegum dispenser, reeled off a long strip, and shoved it all into his mouth. Mmm, I'm good, Terry mumbled as he chewed. Hey, I've got a great idea, Andy. Watch this. Terry chewed and burped. Blah. And burped and chewed. Blah. And blew and burped. Blah. Blah. And burped and blew until he had blown the biggest bubble I had ever seen. The bubble was so big that I couldn't even see Terry anymore. That's enough, I said. It's getting too big. But Terry couldn't hear me. And the reason for that was because the bubble had become so big that it had completely surrounded him. He was inside his own burp-gas-filled bubblegum bubble. <laughs>